Well, this is the very first long mini I ever put together a few months ago. I just wanted to have a look through it today just to see how it's getting along. Uh, we're well into autumn here now. The weather's changed quite a bit. It's getting very cold nights down to about five degrees and we only get about four hours in the afternoon where the bees get out and fly. The morning's quite cool. So really only after midday they get out and fly for three or four hours. So the queen in this was bred out of my Carniolan uh, type queen. And they're a little bit different to the Italians. <clears throat> you might notice there the, the propolis they've put in all the corners and everywhere. It's definitely something they do more than the Italians. You can see here quite a big band of honey across the top of the comb there. This was a brood comb, but they've sort of backfilled it with honey. And that's what I'd expect these bees to be doing now is reducing the area of brood right down <clears throat> and uh, backfilling with honey from the top down. So I haven't fed these for a couple of weeks. I wouldn't say there's really a honey flow or really much nectar at all coming in, but these type of bees, the Carniolan type of bees, they just seem to find a bit of nectar when, when the others aren't. They're remarkable like that. So there's the little queen there right in the middle. She's nothing impressive to look at, but She's done a fantastic job in this hive. She's working on a nice comb of open brood there, just looking for somewhere to lay. So that's really the start of the brood nest, looking from the front. This is a more recent comb that's been put in. You can see there the capped brood, probably the first round of brood to go through this little comb here. Probably a bit of an older comb there, but same thing, a nice bit of capped brood there, ready to emerge soon. And here again is a more recent comb that's been put in here and it's just got its first round of brood. You see that capped brood there? It's the first round that's been put through that comb. I was just curious to get back to this plastic foundation comb here, see what they're doing with it. And there's no brood there, they're just backfilling with honey. So that's the extent of the brood nest. What we've just seen is those four little combs. That one there, two, three, and four. So that's the extent of the brood nest now, just those four combs and so they've wound the brood rearing right back and focusing more on just storing honey for the winter. But they are still raising brood which is good to see. It's always good to have a new supply of young bees in the hive. Just wanted to have a look at this one just to confirm that it's honey and look at this fresh honey there. You can see that glistening fresh honey. That's what these guys have been able to find recently around town when the other hives really aren't finding much at all. They're just finding enough to survive rather than any extra to store. 
So that's it guys, just a quick look through this one today just to see how they're going. I'll see you again soon.